What is up, everybody? I'm No Lux Given, and welcome back to the end of Shiftry Week. Now, Shiftry Week is almost over, but that doesn't mean that this channel is over, obviously. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content in the future. I've got some really fun stuff that I'm really excited about for next week. However, since Shiftry Week is over, I thought it made sense to start with Shiftry. And by that I mean we're going to be looking at some battle videos in which Shiftry is my leading Pokemon. I'm going to be using the same team in this video, so that's a Shiftry lead, but this time with Azumarill and Registeel in the back. So I really like this Reggie Azu core. They're both just really strong, well-rounded Pokemon, just like Shiftry, that I really enjoy using and I feel comfortable with already. In addition, both of those Pokemon are also really good, as we've pointed out previously, against flying-type Pokemon. So having two answers to things that counter Shiftry is super important because it gives me a lot of flexibility with how I utilize safe switching. So I'll have the ability to switch into either Registeel or Azumarill if I catch a bad lead. However, I do catch a lot of good leads with Shiftry. It really surprised me. I thought, you know, and I've played sets too where Shiftry has mostly faced up against Azumarill every set. And obviously that's pretty good. You wind up winning the lead, you force the switch, and then you switch into something else. But there are a wide variety of Pokemon that Shiftry is good against. So I wanted to look at all of those games right now. Actually, before we get into the videos where I am leading with Shiftery, I wanted to show off this match against Wild Susan Boyle, where I was using Azumarill and they were using Shiftery. And I said, you know what, if Wild Susan Boyle can do it, then so can I. So here is me playing Azumarill Shifty, Shiftery Registeel and getting destroyed by, I believe, that same team, but with Shiftry in the lead. So it's still a pretty well-rounded team, and Susan makes pretty good... You, I don't know what to call Wild Susan Boyle. I don't know what their, their real name is, but uh, they make pretty good use of the team here with, uh, with Shiftry in the lead, and we're able to at least, you know, we get a shield from the Reggie Steel and the, the team isn't isn't totally done for. Uh, but it is a little bit tricky and they just completely destroy our Azumarill. And now they've got three Pokemon to my one. So pretty well played there. And hopefully we can repeat this same process against them. That's right. Wishcash was their last Pokemon, but it still winds up being a pretty similar team all in all. Uh, and I do think Wishcash could be good on this team as well. Obviously, it's got the Blizzard for the flying type coverage, and then it's just a good Pokemon. A uh, good safe switch with the uh, coverage move on it as well. So, uh, yeah, Wishcash is, is definitely a possible inclusion to a Shiftry lead team. Now, let's go ahead and get into these games where I am leading with Shiftry. So, it is Shiftry against Alolan Raichu, a very popular Pokemon in Season 2. That's one of the reasons that I think Shiftry is such a great lead right now, is Shiftry just does not care at all about Alolan Raichu. So we're able to get one of Alolan Raichu's shields, and then it fires a Thunder Punch back at us, which we are able to shake off effortlessly. And I will shield this second Thunder Punch because I did over farm them a little bit here. Then they switch into Tropius, and I just use this foul play here to buy me some time, but then I'm going to switch into Registeel, and I can hardwall their Tropius here. Their Tropius is just dead. They've already used one of their shields, and I'm going to be able to uh, kill this Tropius and, and be in a pretty good spot here moving forward because they, they can't really, they can just poke it. They can just poke the Registeel, and uh, we don't have to care. We get to farm up on the back end of Tropius there, and that is pretty great. When Raichu comes back in, you know, Alolan Raichu is actually so frail that even though it is 
a decent Pokemon against Registeel. It resists both of its charge moves. Uh, it does have to shield a lot of stuff here, and this Flash Cannon will be able to take it down despite it being not very effective. Then they show us that they have a Registeel, and we get to switch into a Zoomeril in a 1-0 to zero shield scenario. So that's going to be GG's. We'll just build up to the Hydro Pump, and then we will Ice Beam it down. So nothing my opponent can do here except cross their fingers and hope for lag, uh, but they're not going to get that. So we will get a win in this first match here, and this is a great example. Uh, I mean... We would have been in a tough spot if we were leading Azumarill here, and Shiftry is a well-rounded Pokemon. It's pretty good. It's just good in a different way than an Azumarill lead is. So it's obviously really good against Azumarill, which I'm sure we're going to see in these videos, but it's also good against all of this other stuff. And it is great against Wishcash. So I think I have two games here lined up against Mud Boys. And of course they switch into Skarmory. I turn off uh, or turn on low power mode and uh, try to focus blast down this Skarmory. So that's basically what I was saying at the beginning of the video. Shiftry might bait your opponent into switching to flyers, but you have two anti-flying. Pokemon in the back in Registeel and Azumarill that should be able to easily deal with anything that switches in to deal with Shiftry. Uh, the tricky things would be like a fire type Pokemon, you wouldn't want to switch into Registeel. And what would be bad for Azumarill? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Galvantula is tricky. Um, but if it's Govantula, you would just keep Shiftry in, I think. But yeah, here we see this game against Wishcash, and my opponent brings back in the Wishcash. I switched to, I, I had the option to go into Registeel or Azumarill. I went with the Registeel, so that way the Registeel is less likely to line up against the Wishcash. And now, because, you know, we've, we've forced my opponent's hands at both options there, uh, we are able to... Just Leaf Blade the heck out of this Azumarill. We've got two shields to their zero. And my opponent doesn't hit the concede button, but they knew the writing was on the wall there. We win three Pokemon and two shields to zip. So pretty good battle there. And this one is against Swampert. So this game should be pretty similar, but it's Swampert into Altaria pretty similar stuff going on. I switched to Registeel again because Registeel wouldn't be so great against that Swampert. Uh, so this way, now once Registeel deals with Altaria, I have two potential Pokemon to go up against uh, Swampert, and that gives me some flexibility on the back end of the battle here. So I'm not going to shield at all on this Registeel. I get a little bit excess energy, and I'm not sure if this one will draw out a shield. It does, and am I able to build to another Flash Cannon? I am. So because of our energy manipulation there, I baited my opponent into using both shields. Wowie zowie. Uh, so now I'm going to go into a Zoomerill, and I'll just continue to take some sky attacks here. Uh, oh, it's a Dazzling Gleam. Okay, okay, so a coverage move on my opponent's Azumarill. And I think I'm just going to take it again here while I farm down my opponent's Azumarill. The fact that they have no shields remaining uh, was making me feel pretty good here, and they didn't want to bring their no-shielded Swampert into my fully loaded Hydro Cannon, so they go with Bastiodon, who just tanks a Hydro Cannon to the face, and then I'm going to Hydro Pump, or try to Hydro Pump, this Bastiodon right before I die. Uh, but they are able to just barely farm me down. I shield this Stone Edge on my Shiftry, I throw a few more Snarls, and then I'm going to be able to Leaf Blade this Bastiodon, and then immediately Leaf Blade this Swampert when that comes back in. So Swampert tried to run for Shift from Shiftry, but there was nowhere to hide, and I win that game still with a Shield Advantage, and probably could have won it with a two Shield Advantage had I just used that Ice Beam on my Azumarill a little bit quicker. Here we have a bad lead. We've got Skarmory from the get-go. So I go and switch into Azumarill. Uh, Azumarill has the Ice Beam, which makes it a 
safer switch uh, because if they bring in a grass type Pokemon like so, we can still burn their shields. Now I'm probably going to want to shield these frenzy plants here because they just deal so much damage to Meganium, but we're going to be using these frenzy plant or these ice beams and getting both of Meganium shields. And then I believe, yeah, it looks like I'm going to let Azumarill die. Then I go back into Shiftry, and the reason I go back into Shiftry here is because I don't want to line up Shiftry against Scarberry, so I use this to deal some damage with Shiftry, and then I just take a Frenzy Plant, and that's a pretty big chunk, but when they switch into Scarberry, they make a huge mistake. Obviously, my switch timer is up too, so they switch into Scarberry. That allows me to switch into Registeel, and... <coughs> excuse me... Um, I am, this is, this is such a favorable matchup. I'm able to build up to a Focus Blast. That's what I was going to say. I, I'm able to save this shield here now too because I don't care about these other things that this Scarberry is doing. And I get to farm for a little bit to get a whole bunch of energy on my Registeel. So now when Meganium comes back in, I'm able to Flash Cannon it before it can even Earthquake. And now I'm an almost dead Reggie steal, but with a shield against an unknown opponent. So it's actually a Zoomerill. So I go ahead and switch into Shiftry real quick. And this is going to be a close one. And I can't get to the second Leaf Blade quite, but with this shield, I am going to be able to get to a Flash Cannon on Reggie Steel. And that will just barely not be enough, uh, but the, uh, the, the lock-ons, rather, can farm that down. So, was still able to take that match up there, just with that little bit of shiftery and the Registeel in the back. Next, we are up against a Melmetal lead, and this is another tricky Steel-type Pokemon. This time, it is able to threaten us with super power, which would be super effective against Shiftry. So I just want to switch out to Azumarill as soon as possible. Typically now, Melmetals will have super power and rock slide, so you don't have to worry about Thunderbolt and can bring in Azumarill as a safe switch. Again, they are going to counter us here with uh, Tropius into Azumarill, but the Ice Beam is just such a good coverage move on this Azumarill that we're able to get some shields, and when they don't shield that second Ice Beam, since Tropius is double weak, we are able to completely take it out here. And then I switch to Registeel on the tail end of Tropius, because I did have to use that shield, I didn't want to just let them farm me down, and then they will switch into Melmetal. So we'll shield the first superpower. Uh, that's always a good idea if you can, because the second superpower will be less effective. We bait with a Flash Cannon here, but Flash Cannon still would have dealt a lot of damage because uh, they are double debuffed. Now when they go for this third superpower, we are actually able to survive it. So I wasn't totally sure on the math on this one, but I had a feeling from a lot of my games in the Master League that we might be able to pull something like that off. <clears throat> my opponent brings in Sableye and we go into Shiftry after letting them farm us down. This way, we can switch into Azumarill and absorb their Power Gem here, and that lets us preserve our Shiftry. My opponent switches into Tropius, thinking a Leaf Blade is coming, but I was not ready to just willy-nilly throw that Leaf Blade into the Abyss. Then we throw the Leaf Blade. Honestly, if we did, we probably would have been okay, but then we throw the Leaf Blade and keep our Shiftry unscathed, taking out that Sableye. Next, we have Shiftry up against Steelix, another Steel-type Pokemon. This lead, I think, is actually good for us. <clears throat> Our um, Leaf Blades are neutral, and their crunches are going to be not very effective. Their Earthquakes are also not very effective here. Turns out they have Heavy Slam, so I don't know what this guy's doing. Heavy Slam is interesting, at least, uh, but it is... Yeah, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> they switch into Altaria here, and then we switch into Registeel. This is so that way we don't line up Registeel against Steelix. 
Uh, we do have Focus Blast as a coverage move against Steelix, but they have Earthquake potentially as a coverage move against us, and it possibly is a Heavy Slam Crunch Steelix. That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, so yeah, we throw in Reggie Steel and we don't shield and we see how much we can take down Altaria. They switch into Azumarill, so we switch back into Shiftry. And even though we don't have that much health, we are resistant to, shift, uh, to Azumarill's bubbles. So we are going to be able to get to this second Leaf Blade here just barely and we're going to be able to take out that azumarill with this zero hp um uh zero hp uh shift tree then we do wind up going back into reggie steel because i knew i had the focus blast at the ready i'm gonna let altaria farm my reggie steel down because then i can just go into azumarill build up to an ice beam shield all of these sky attacks and my opponent has nowhere to hide so we build up to this ice beam here they throw another sky attack we'll throw out another shield sure why not but we could have won this matchup with two shields uh, if we really wanted to, we will eventually Ice Beam this Altaria down and claim the W. For this next matchup here against Budagoya 7, we have Shiftry up against Bastiodon. And this is, I would say, another pretty good leading matchup here. Bastiodon is another Steel-type Pokemon, but like Steelix, it is also weak to Grass from its other typing. So that makes it neutral to my Leaf Blades. Obviously, we will have to shield their Flamethrowers, or even if it was throwing Stone Edges, we would want to shield them. But because our move is so powerful and so cheap, we are able to throw out so many leaf blades here my opponent shields that leaf blade because they are assumedly close to a flamethrower but then we throw another leaf blade and they have to shield again they just weren't expecting it to charge that fast they decide to switch out so i will want to be mindful of that that they have a pokemon with a charge move ready to go here and make sure that doesn't for instance, line up against Reggie Steel and allow them to just flamethrower it down. So I am going to go into the Reggie Steel here. I definitely want to save that shield unless I'm willing to throw away a Pokemon. They are going to go into Blastoise actually from here, and I will want to throw Focus Blast at that because my Flash Cannon will be resisted. So they are still hanging on to that Bastiodon. I am not going to shield anything else. I'll just take these Hydro Cannons. My Registeel is basically dead, um, and my Shiftry is basically dead, but I'm able to switch back into it and throw off a Leaf Blade, and then from here, I will just bring in a Zoomeril, and I don't even have to shield this charge move at this point, but it's my opponent's last Pokemon. That's all they got, so I just throw a shield to win that matchup pretty cleanly. Now we finally see a game where it's Shiftry against Azumarill on our side of the table. My opponent switches into Deoxys Defense Form. And from here, I'm like, all right, sure, let's battle. So I just throw some foul plays at this Deoxys. I burn their first shield. I burn their second shield. And I'm going to go ahead and shield as well and see if I can't get to a third foul play here. So I do take a lot of damage from my opponent's counter, but I am able to get to one last foul play before they kill me off. And that basically destroys Deoxys. And I let their charge move finish my shift ray off here. Then I bring in Reggie Steel and I get to build up some energy. So now I'm ahead in energy against Azumarill and I also have that shield. So uh, Shiftry gave, did a lot of work in this matchup. This was a Shiftry lead. They switched and I just didn't even counter switch. Uh, when they go for the Hydro Pump here, I actually switch back into my Azumarill. That's just to buy me a free shield. And at that point, I am so far ahead. I've wasted so much of my opponent's energy that they have no choice but to concede. Here's another game against Azumarill that goes a little bit differently, and I just farm up at the beginning because I'm basically just expecting a switch. 
then I switch to Azumarill uh, after seeing that my opponent is going to be Reggie stealing us. So I will take this first Flash Cannon here, and I'm not sure whether to Hydro Pump or Ice Beam. That's always a mind game, and especially when we're not in a leading scenario, I'm not sure what to expect, but I probably should have baited with Ice Beam because of the fact that I switched into a Zubaril. It meant that I was just that much more likely to throw a Hydro Cannon here, but I'll shield this last Flash Cannon so that way I can at least get either their second shield or land this Hydro Pump on my opponent's uh, Reggie Steel here. So they actually switched on me on the last second and did the same thing that I did last game against my opponent. So they switch to Azumarill. I'm going to go back to Shiftry. They're going to Ice Beam, so I will shield this. I'll farm them down a little bit more before releasing my Leaf Blade upon them. And that'll kill Azumarill and bring out Registeel. Now I have this first foul play loaded up already, and that's going to deal a little bit of damage to them. Then I'm going to Leaf Blade just as soon as it becomes available, because that's enough to kill them. And they will shield. I did want to try to switch in the middle there to not lose my Shiftry, but I just didn't have the time. I will be able to bring in Azumarill now, and now I'm against Haunter. So this is kind of an accumulation of a lot of videos that we've seen here so far. Haunter is a Pokemon that can beat me for sure and that has beaten me many times over, but it can't fully take down a Registeel in a no shield scenario. So we are able to flash cannon it and then we are able to farm down their last Registeel. So that was a super close battle and I thought a super climactic way to round out Shiftery Week here. We've shown why Shiftery is a great Azumarill counter. We've shown how it's a well-rounded Pokemon. We've shown how it destroys Haunter, how it's good in Season 2. And now we've shown why Shiftery is such a wonderful leading Pokemon. I hope that you have enjoyed this series and that hopefully this has informed your decision about whether or not you want to power up a Shiftry after this weekend's Community Day. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like I said, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got some really, really cool content that I'm even more excited about for next week that I will hopefully get to put together in time for Great League. So definitely you will not want to miss that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm No Lux Given. Peace.